welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim with the Requiem mod. A quick update to start. I got a new mic. I was using a wireless headset for recording, but found that the wireless part was causing a lot of pops and random noise. This caused me to spend a lot of time trying to clean it up, with the final result being not that good as you could probably tell in my last recording. I just got it, so I'm not exactly sure where to put it on my desk for the best effect, so bear with me while I, while I work it out. Now that the audio requires less time, I hope to spend a little more time editing the video portion to make it look better, or at least try. I'm not exactly very experienced at this stuff. Additionally, I updated the Static Mesh Improvement mod and added a new mod series called Vivid Landscapes, uh, specifically Dungeons and Ruins, Rocking Stones, Imperial Forts, and Volcanic Area. These mods were designed with EMBs in mind, so I'm probably not getting the full effect that I could be out of them, but they are great nonetheless. I mean, this is a little, the textures look absolutely great, and you can see it right behind Cole there on those pillars. Uh, they're just really nice. Uh, speaking of Cole, he saw a dragon, and it just torched Elegant. Uh, just torched it. So we were looking around to see if anybody had survived, uh, if we could help, and we didn't find anyone. It's just a lot of flame and uh, burnt buildings. So we've gone inside the keep here to see uh, if there's anything we could do to help. And uh, oh, one other thing. Um, figured out why the uh, people were looking like they were talking to me, but I couldn't hear them. It's because they were unvoiced dialogue. So uh, if you turn on dialogue subtitles, uh, then we can see the text from that, so we shouldn't have any more of that guessing what someone's trying to tell me. All right, so let's, uh, let's see what we got going on here. All right, a couple dead bodies. We got a, uh, looks like a storm cloak and an imperial fought it out, so maybe the uh, war uh, rumors weren't so off base after all. So let's, um, let's see if they got anything useful here. Uh, they don't need their dead. Uh, I love potions. Uh, and that's heavy armor. I think I'm going to take that. And apparently it is way too heavy for me. So let's see. Got, uh... <laughs> that, is, that is actually very heavy. But we're going to wear it because we feel much more comfortable in uh, heavy armor than light armor. So we don't need that anymore. Um, but I'm still too heavy... So, 41 potatoes. Jeez, I don't need that many. I think, how about just five? Uh, cabbages, I don't need ten of them, so let's get rid of that. Uh, I definitely do not need that much meat. In fact, I'm not even cooking it recently, so we're just going to drop that off. Uh, same with that. And that, all right, much better. So, there we go. Heavy armor. All right, let's see what else we got going on. More cabbages. All right. Da -da. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. That's... All right. Let's go this way. Uh, nice fire. And... Potions! I love potions. They're just so useful. Uh, book. Don't want to read it. And another potion. Some money. And a note. By the Emperor! How could those bloody recruits forget to check the escape tunnels during the last weeks? We barely lost one of our men, and when we found that the whole place was infested with spiders and other kinds of vermin. And this during the presence of a general. By the divines, we have to get that situation under control. I suggest you keep the tunnel sealed until the barrel with potions arrive, so you can equip your men to right this mess. I expect the tunnels to be cleared by afternoon, and I won't hesitate to let you pay for my expenses. And remember, I will not tolerate such inattentiveness in my outpost. I hope I made myself clear. Signed, Officer Marcus Glavius. Yes, keep an eye on that old maggot of a torture master. Not that he's becoming quite crazy during the last months. We also assume he hid the key 
to the cages somewhere so he can steal the prisoner's belongings, which have been disappearing lately. If this proves to be true, you'll have the honor of giving him up proper therapy. All right, so yeah, well, let's, um, I'm interested in a barrel of potions. Yes, I will take all of you. All right, let's see what else we got. Whoa, 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 Jesus, this place is just not safe. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to just get out of here now before this place falls apart on me. All right. Uh, this way. I don't know check this guy. And uh, he also has heavy armor, but that's imperial crap. I, I really don't want to wear that. All right, let's... Check this one out. All right. <clears throat> Some septums. I'll take it. Book. Not interested. supplies. I don't know if it's useful, but we'll take it. Oh, more heavy. Yeah, it's that imperial crap. I just, I just don't want it. All right. Now we're um. Let's see. What's this way? Back here again. Okay, so that well, I'm afraid that's it. Tower. So there is no one there, man. That dragon uh, cleaned house apparently. So let's um ice. What's this? The body turns to ash as you touch it, but somehow a leather journal has survived the attack. Right, let's. Take a look at the journal. Twelfth of last seed. 4E201. Hard to believe I filled up that whole journal already. I never realized how much of Cyrodiil I haven't seen yet. So much diversity, yet so much destruction from the Great War. A lot of history has been lost here forever. The expedition is ending soon, and everyone will be returning home. I have one last task to perform before I do the same. I'll send the other journal ahead with my supplies and the artifacts we recovered. 14th of Last Seed, 4E-201. I've received word from my contacts in Skyrim. All seem quiet for now. Probably for the first time since High King Torg was killed. I should be able to make the crossing quietly enough during the night, so long as there are no Imperial patrols to deal with. 15th of Last Seed, 4E-201. So much for being discreet, I crossed the border near the small village called Helgen and made my way to Darkwater Crossing. Unfortunately, I can't get back to my camp now because the area is filled with Imperial patrols. It seems they are searching for someone, someone very important. If I'm not mistaken, someone they intend to ambush here. This could be the very thing I am seeking here in Skyrim. But crossing the border in the dead of night without passing through the checkpoints has turned out to be a very bad idea. 16th of Last Seed, 4E-201 I woke early in the morning with an Imperial sword pressed to my neck. A patrol found me camped under a rock outcropping on the edge of the volcanic marshes. I guess I wasn't as well hidden as I thought. I have no idea where they've taken us, but I've been stuffed into the back of a rickety old cart being pulled by an even more rickety old looking nag. At least they let me keep my journal for now. 17th of Last Seed, 4E201. 
Shores bones! If only I had known sooner. The ambush, the captives, and the cart with me. Stormcloak rebels, led by none other than Ulfric Stormcloak himself. There's no time to explain properly. I scarcely believe it myself. If it hadn't been for the dragon, I'd not even be able to write this down. Yes, a dragon. Big black, as large as the towers of the keep itself. It swooped in out of nowhere and laid waste to the village in the keep. General Tolius didn't take my head today, or the heads of several Stormcloak rebels. But that doesn't matter now. Hadvar and Rad Ral Ralf set aside their differences long enough to help me and a few others escape alive. Only the three of us made it this far. They've gone back into the keep to help with the other survivors while I've been asked to get uh, to Riverwood as fast as possible. I still can't believe it. A dragon straight out of the legends. Nobody back home will ever believe me. I'm sorry to tell you this, man. You, t you didn't survive. Uh, yeah. But, maybe those other two did. Let's, um... So they went into the cave. Well, I can't go that way, so... Let's see if maybe there's uh, a way out, right? So let's, uh... Let's see if we can find it. Let's see. If I were a cave... Where would I be? Maybe, maybe over here? Aha! Alright, let's take a peek, shall we? A little bit dark in here. I probably should have took the torch off that, uh, that body up in the Helgen's Keep. Alright, not so bad. Then there's... Whoa! Whoa, that's... Um, ah! Bones. Ah. No! Hello. Did you <coughs> come back? I can't see what's going on here. Are you? Ma Wait a second. I'm talking to you. You're an imperial soldier. You know, you just kind of lay there and die. All right. Um. Got here. <laughs> what are you doing back here? I came to see what was going on. What? <coughs> are you crazy? Riverwood will burn. You need to go warn them now! What? No, you don't understand! My... <laughs> yes, Miss Beard, are you daft? Never mind, just help me out of here and I'll come with you. Find me a healing potion, I'm too banged up to go on anywhere right now. Well, um... Uh, I happen to have a healing potion for you. Yes, I have one right here. Yes, you can count on me. Have a deficient one. Excellent. Oh, come on. An iron helmet. I'll take it. Ah! Too heavy. Wait up! Uh, I want that. That's not Imperial uh, crap. Yeah, I'll drop that. I still need to get rid of some weight here. I need... I'm not even using these things, so we'll just... There we go. Wait up! Wait for me. There he goes. Looks like he's gone for good this time. Where? Huh? No way to know if anyone else made it out alive. Yeah. But this place is going to be swarming with Imperials soon enough. Better clear out of here. My sister, Gerda, runs the mill in Riverwood, just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. I, I'm not splitting up. Are you crazy? You might run into a fox who'll kill you. So let's just kind of stick together, shall we? I mean, seriously, have you 
Have you seen the, the creatures around this place? You know, yeah. you should go to Windhelm and join the fight to free Skyrim. Seeing the face of fire here today. If anyone will know what the coming of the dragon means, it's over. Um, yeah, actually, I was interested. I, I, I tried to go see Ulfric, and he wasn't there. So, are you saying he's there now? Hey, but now I got you to vouch for me. This is good. This is good. See that ruin up there? Bleak Falls Barrow. I never understood how my sister could stand living in the shadow of that place. I guess you get used to it. Dude, it's all the way over there. I mean, jeez. It's just ruins. Man. Not like anybody would ever have a reason to go there. Uh oh. What's that? Wolves? That's. Hey, where'd you go? Get over here. I'm serious. Have you, have you seen these things? Yeah, though, I'm kind of the wolf killer now. Okay. Bring it on. I got heavy armor now. Heavy armor. You know what? I'm bringing the fight to you. Ha 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 Take that. Ha <laughs> Yeah, times have changed, haven't they? Getting a little bit better. Did you see that? Did you see that? Yeah, I'm a badass. To come with me. We're almost to Riverwood. Yeah, I'm kind of glad I decided to come together so you can see me. Did you see that? Visited here. I see you got a family over here, huh? Here knows what happened yet. Come on. Curdle's probably working at her lumber. It's good to see you. But is it safe for you to be here? Gerda. We heard that Ulfric had been captured. Gerda, I'm fine. At least now I am. Are you hurt? What's happened? And who is this? One of your comrades? No, I'm comrade yet. Friend. I owe him my life, in fact. Is there somewhere we can talk? There's no telling when the news from Helden may reach the Imperials. Helgen? Has something happened? You're right. Follow me. Yeah, oh, a dragon. Come here a minute. Dude, just I need your search the place. Come. What is it, woman? Stand drunk on the job again? Hod, just come here. Raylo, what are you doing here? Huh. I'll be right down. Hush, Frodo. This is no time for your games. Go and watch the South Road. Come find He's killed 1,500 people with that axe. Would you like to touch it? I want to stay and talk with Uncle Rayla. Look at you. Almost a grown man. Won't be long before you'll be joining the fight yourself. That's right. Don't worry, Uncle Rayla. I won't let those soldiers sneak up on you. Now, Rayla. Uh, you're right. What's going on? You two look Great pretty well done in. I can't remember when I last slept. Where to start? Well, the news you heard about Alfred was true. The Imperials ambushed us outside Darkwater Crossing. 
like they knew exactly where we'd be. That was uh, two days ago now. We stopped in Helgen this morning, and I thought it was all over. Had us lined up to the headsman's block and ready to start chopping. The cowards. They wouldn't dare give Ulfric a fair trial. Treason for fighting for your own people. All of Skyrim would have seen the truth then. But then, out of nowhere, a dragon attacked. You a dragon! Live. I can hardly yeah. believe it myself. And I was Either. there. As strange as it sounds, we'd be dead if not for that dragon. In the confusion, we managed to slip away. Are we really the first to make it to Riverwood? Nobody else has come up the south road today, as far as I know. Good. Maybe we can lay up for a while. I hate to put your family in danger, Gerda, but... Nonsense. You and your friend are welcome to stay here as long as you need to. Let me worry about the Imperials. Any friend of Raylof's is a friend of mine. Thank you Use very much. Use the key much. to the house. Stay as long as you like. If there is anything else you need, just let me know. Awesome, I will. Hey, I don't know. I kind of could use like, some healing potions. And... Yeah. Maybe a nicer cloak. Let's see. And, well, I already got one of those. And, uh... Hey, this is good for now. I, you're really. There I is like something you. you could do for me, for all of Anything. us. Anything. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. All right. Thanks. Well, <sighs> you help me out. On you. I ought to get back to work before I missed. But did anyone else escape? Did Ulfric? Don't worry. I'm sure he made it out. It will take more than a dragon to stop Ulfric Stormcloak. I'll let them into the house and, you know, show them where everything is. Hmm. Help them drink up our mead, you mean? Yeah. Good luck, brother. Uh, I'll see you later. It's my man Don't here right worry now. About me. Todd. I know how to lay low. Hey, let's go check out the house, shall we? Heavy armors. Definitely tough. I like the way that. I like that. I like that better than this thing, so that sells for good money though. So I don't I'm gonna need money again. So what do I have too much of? Flowers. Do I need that many? I don't even know what to do with those things. And, uh, all right. What are you doing that for? Hey! Dude, I'm dropping flowers! Lay off. Jeez. This is a nice place. All right. Hey, I really appreciate. Let me store. Do you mind if I store some stuff here? Uh, how about? Uh, do you have like a? Yeah, there we go. There we go. I'm just going to. You don't. You don't mind if I take that gold, do you? Uh, see, I need a place to store some of my stuff. I don't necessarily want to carry everything around with me. Um, certainly. And I really appreciate it. I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna put this dresser. Yeah. Mind if I stuff some stuff in here? I don't need right now. We'll just do like that. Um, Proof of something, I guess. Give it to his family one day. Um, I don't really think I could do anything with these things, um, but they look good, so I'm going to store them in case I have an opportunity to store them. Ah, pelts don't need to be carrying that around. Um, I'm not really needing much.
money right now. I'm doing pretty good. And let's see. Rested. Awesome. Um, you know, there were a couple things I wanted to change here. Now that now that I'm here, um, Requiem mod. I um. Well, I like the way a lot of this is. I'm actually going to disable a couple things, just due to the fact that I am playing a heavy armor person. Um. Carry weight, health, and event. It means I get hit once, I can't move anywhere. And that's just... That's going to be really difficult. So I'm going to... For now, I'm going to disable that. I might re-enable that later on. Uh, but for now, due to the fact that I'm on such a razor-thin amount of carry weight, this just seems like it'll be the death of me. Especially when mobility is, is really key here. Um, that and... Is going to uh, there's one more setting here. Leave leave that in there. Let's see. Is that it? I, I'm already going to be slower because of the amount of heavy armor that I'm wearing. So. I think hindering myself further is going to be that. So basically I'm disabling exhaustion causes no slowdown and carry weight. Both of these are mobility based things. Just earlier on, if um, as I gain a little bit more um, overhead, you know, by raising my stamina and leveling up a few times, I think I can switch those back. For right now, um, using heavy armor. <laughs> It's just a bit. But it does have the uh, side effect of giving, moving the bonus. If you're well rested, you took the bonus. So uh, you had a carry weight bonus. So you notice that drop from like was 118 to 110. So I do got to get rid of a few more things here. So um, I'm not really casting any magic spells. So I'm going to store all of my magic up. Eventually, when I get into magic, I might um, might start looking into that. Um, store that. And store that. And I might just wear that. Alright, so that gets me under where I need to go. Okay, so... I told you my sister would help us out. Damn so you really right. think I should turn over? You don't have to be a Nord to fight for Skyrim's freedom. All right. You should come to Windhelm with me and join the fight to free Skyrim. I You've will. Seen the true face of the Empire here today. I've already seen. If it. Anyone will know what the coming of the dragon means. It's Ulfric. Awesome. Yeah, you really think Ulfric knows? Well, maybe not. Dragons haven't been seen in Skyrim for an age or more. But wherever that dragon came from, and whatever it wants, Ulfric will get to the bottom of it. You can count on that. Besides, you have your own score to settle with the Empire now. And with that dragon. Well, you make a good case. Maybe I will go to Windhelm hope again. So. Skyrim needs people like you to fight for her freedom. Come on. You better get moving. Um, yeah. You just sit right there. Okay, anyways. Um... All right. Well, let's. Um, okay. I am gonna go help. Um, let's go. Let's go talk about the dragon attack. We gotta go warn, warn the people. That's that's actually pretty serious business right now. Um, we will get to the fight of Skyrim shortly. For now, I really want to get back to. Uh, I gotta get. I gotta get back to that that place and warn them about the dragon. Crabs. 
Boom! And I don't... I don't really know what that does. Let's grab it anyways. And we're gonna take a bite. Stamina! I like anything that gives me stamina. Alright. Anything else? Ha! <laughs> you know, I'm feeling pretty good. Take that. Look how beautiful that is. This is just beautiful. Just need to rest here for a minute and gain some stamina. Traveling without stamina seems a bad idea. Alright, a nice rest there. An interesting book, apparently. Let's get back on our journey. <laughs> That's right, I didn't carry any of that stuff. It's still there, apparently. No one goes this way. Hey, you guys. Wait up. Hey, can I talk to you? No? No, no, no. Fine, fine. See if I can. What about you? The Legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. <laughs> You've got what it takes. Yeah, no. I'm not gonna speak to General Tolius. Kidding me? <laughs> yeah, not gonna happen. I do gotta remember to try to make some of those uh, healing droughts. I got some potions now, but those things will wear out real quick. I think it was cotton I needed. Cotton, and I got the rest of that. So let's um. See if I can figure out how to make that while we're here. All right, let's go talk to the Arl. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Whoa, 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 lady. Lord, please. Oh. This is no time for rash action. <laughs> I just Excuse me. What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgruff is not receiving visitors. Why? Dude, look. I have news from Helgen. It's about the dragon attack. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on, then. <clears throat> the Jarl will want to speak to you personally. All right. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Yeah, you flew out after torching Helgen. The dragon destroyed Helgen. Uh, last I saw it, it was heading this way. Mere Ireleth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? I, I would. We should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. Agreed. Is lurking in the mountains. Provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Yeah. Prevent Send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my yard. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. Yeah. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here. No problem. Take this as a small token of my esteem. Elven that Gilded. There is another thing you could do for me. <sighs> Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and. Rumors of dragons. It's no rumor, buddy. Oh, of course I can't carry that. 
All right, what did he give me? Elven light armor? Are you serious? I think I'm just going <laughs> to stay with my Stormcloak armor. Thank you very much. However, wow, that is nice. You know what? Actually, I have perk to spend. And you know, due to all the money issues, how expensive everything is, maybe getting more money will be best. I'm not sure. Can I... Yeah, I can almost... It's not the worst thing I can spend my perk on. You know what? Let's do that. Oh, it still doesn't do anything about the weight of this thing. Ah, four. Alright, um... You guys are going to get angry at me, aren't you, for littering again. Well, here, have a, have a book. Um, that? No. Don't, don't <laughs> no one got angry at me that time. The cabbages, I'm just going to... Am I hungry? Slightly thirsty and peckish. Alright, so you know what? I'm going to eat a cabbage. The gourd. I don't want to drop two of them. So angry, you hardly stand it. Jeez. It takes a while to make a dress, Daggy. You have to be patient. You, are you got a serious problem, guy. I think I found now. someone who Father can help you with your dragon you project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. Babies. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. He just said that. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, Eaten. when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. That... that sounds great. Um... Alright. Uh, where am I going and Straight what to the point, fetch? eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Yeah, all right. Why don't you tell me a little bit about Black Falls Barrow? An old tomb Barrow. built by the ancient Nords, perhaps dating back to the Dragon War itself. <coughs> ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. It's near Riverwood, a miserable little village a few miles south of here. I'm sure some of the locals can point you in the right direction once you get there. Yeah. She's a miserable little village. You're, you're not a nice. You know, that wasn't bad. It was all right. And how do you know the stone tablet is in Bleak Falls well, Barrow? Well, must preserve some professional secrets, mustn't we? I have my sources. Reliable sources. Alright. Alright, I believe you. Alright, um... I'm, I think I'm done talking to you. Uh, do you owe your allegiance to the Imperials? I, I've always been wondering about this. Is this an Imperial town? If I said that was a tedious question, would you be smart enough to know what I meant? Probably not. As long as I'm left alone to pursue my research, I don't care who gives the orders. Now, I'm a busy man, and your pointless questions are boring me terribly. Good day. This is a priority you know what? now. Anything we can <sighs> use to fight this dragon, or dragons, we need it quickly, before it's too late. Of course, Yao you Balgroof. You seem to have found me an able assistant. Balgroof? I'm sure he will prove most useful. Succeed at this. And you'll be rewarded. White Run will be in your debt. I yeah, I like rewards. I I don't know about delving into a dungeon somewhere. Oh, he do that. Hey, no, stop. All right. Uh, let's see. Um, 
like a. How do I make that, that thing? I need a regeneration potion. I got hurt walking on some bones in that dungeon cave to save that guy, whatever his name was, from Stormcloaks. Alright, maybe someone around town can help me make those things. I'm not particularly interested in spending money to buy them. I would rather learn how to make them. Alright, that's um Tavern and a Ah, there you go. Um Potion place. All right, so <laughs> you know, okay, so you're just seeing me walk into this building, but the thing is, is that I, uh, I've actually walked into this building about ten times already, and the problem was is that I had a mod problem. Yeah, so let's uh, let's come here for what I meant to do. And, um, you look rather pale. Could take a look. I uh, I came here to do is I need to buy this thing so I want to know how to make that healing uh, potion I'm gonna take that and that one looks good too so I'm Come going to get that if you need a remedy. I think I will thank you so what happened is is when I would click on this to read it it was crashing to the desktop and so I had to figure out what was the problem so uh, turns out I did not have the Requiem patch. Uh, there's a 1.7.3 patch, and what you're seeing here is the Books of Skyrim mod that um, uh, changes the appearance so, to look as nice as it does here. So uh, it was crashing every time I was trying to open because the compatibility patch for the Books of Skyrim mod was for 1.7.3 Requiem, and I was on 1.7.0 Requiem. So. Uh, after much to do, I've uh, now obviously got it working. So, now that I got this thing, now I know how to make it. So, uh, let's let's go attend to that. You know nothing. Nothing of our struggles, our suffering. Alright, so... This thing says... Take three pieces of Tundra Cotton and refine it at a tanning rack. Alright, well... Go tanning rack. Yes, house We leave immediately. Just us against the dragon. Is that it? Yeah, no. Well, I'm gonna. We don't know where the dragon is. Yeah, good luck with that. Okay. Tundra rack. So food, maybe? No, miss. I don't expect the three of you to fight off the dragon by yourself. You're like, oh, there it is. All right, so I need uh, need some ale. All right, well, you know what? Let's move out. Time to waste. Perfect. I'm feeling a little bit hungry, anyways. Let's go to the inn. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. If it's awesome. work you need, how about shopping up some wood for the fires? Well, here. Uh, what do you think of sale? Need some ale. It's so like, uh, how about just a couple? Should do it. And, uh, need anything else? Just let me know. Thanks. We'll do. All right. I kind of find it weird. I'm making this thing out of tanning rack, but all right. I can now make a couple of those. So I gotta keep an eye out for Tender Cotton and Blue Mountain. That's gonna be the stuff. So let's just go and drink some of that now. Uh, yep, thank you. Alright, excellent. So let's get out of here. Alright, so they want me to go to this dungeon I, no I don't I really don't think that's something I want to do right now so um, I 
So, one thing I'm noticing immediately after upgrading directly at 1.7.3 is that I'm moving... I'm definitely moving slower. And that's probably because of the heavy armor that I'm wearing. Uh, so, it is what it is. Alright, so I'm going to go take a carriage, and I think I'm... Wait, do I have any money? I just... I just spent all my money. Well, what I'd like to do is... Go join, go join the Storm Stormcold uh, cloaks. I'd like to go to Windhelm. So let's, let's see if I can get back there with the hundred gold. If not, I guess I'll have to go chop firewood. I think I think she said she'd buy firewood for me. So I think I want that right. Red, blue, blue mountain flowers. Not, not red. Apparently, the color makes all the difference. Where do you want to go? I would like to go to Windhelm. Yes. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Enjoy my money. Couldn't ask for better weather. I agree. It's really nice. Alright, we're here, and it's uh, night out. Look at that, it's just a beautiful sky. And apparently it's cold out here, and I need some food. Look, I'm already wearing the storm coat. Ah, uh, you know what? Yes. I'm gonna spare you a coin. Wait, where, where are you? Alright, well, I... I don't know where you are, but... I have a debt to repay. I... You know what? I took that potion when I was really in need, and... I now have some potions. I need to uh, I need to pay it back unless you know, in case that person needs it in the future. Hello, oh, just don't mind me. I'm going to climb up here and. Niranye, I just have to know, what is your secret? My. Uh, my what now? Okay. You know. Do, 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 Where careful. do you get your goods? Alright. Uh, I can do this without that guy noticing. Um, I am always amazed at how you manage to sell things so Let's see if I can... cheaply. Oh, just a matter of finding the right suppliers. Well, I want to meet them the next time they're around. Maybe you can give an introduction. Hey, come here. I'll consider it. Many of the people I deal with here are secretive. You know how it is. <sighs> of what? course. Just, I understand just, completely. <clears throat> you just put us in a room, and I'll do all the yeah, talking. There. No there you go. Enjoy. The Arcturian Heresy. No, no. Okay. okay. There you go. Debt repaid. I feel much better. Right. Now my debt's been repaid, let's go to the throne room and see if Ulfric has made it out of that dragon attack. <laughs> palace of the Kings. Sure looks like a palace to me. Alright. What time is it? It's 12 eight. Jeez. Okay, so he's probably not taking visitors right now. Let's go find a place to stay. Oh, 
All right, I am not about to pay exorbitant hotel prices here. Not that I could probably afford it. I think they're like 50 gold or something. So I am going to run outside. really don't mind, do I? Oh, wait. Apparently you do mind. Okay. Well, I can't. Okay. Uh, the cancel placement. Alright. I guess you don't want me camping right there. That's just not very nice. I don't want to freeze out here. Yeah, I Oh, jeez. Okay, well. You know what? I guess I'll just pitch a tent here and hope it doesn't get too cold during the night, because I do not have any firewood. Alright. And there's my tent. Awesome. Let's take a nap. And good night. I guess I'll join Ulfric's armor. Uh, sorry, <laughs> Ulfric's army another day.